Presidential candidate Amama Mbabazi's journey to his campaign in Lira Town was briefly halted at Kamdini Station in Oyam District by a group of youths who said they were denouncing an earlier campaign against him by Aru County MP Odonga Oto. I would like to return these teachers to you for you to take the appropriate action on them to demonstrate your rejection of the message of this teacher. He brought it here to, to, to show that we don't want a mama, a mama Baba to come here. That's why we, we decide to remove from those who got this gift. In Lida, Mbabazi received a rapturous welcome as the crowds joined him in a procession to Akibua Stadium where he held his campaign rally. Mbabazi started his address with a promise to operationalize the sub-county development model that is part of his manifesto. In, that in order to uplift our production at all levels, we should introduce what we call um, advanced sub-county model. We are going to build a center at every sub-county of the 1,388 sub-counties of Uganda. Mbabazi also promised better pay for civil servants to improve the quality of public service in government institutions when he becomes president. We will pay teachers a decent salary, we will increase their salary to a decent level and we will build them houses so that they live in the schools where they work. Ajovio Mbabazi revisited his athletic history with national champion John Akibua, whom he said he competed against and beat in the athletic relays. He has pledged to rehabilitate the Akibua Stadium and return it to its former glory. I want to pledge to you that this stadium will be done, it will be given first priority for the whole world to see where Akibua came from. Mbabazi was accompanied by politicians like Nobat Mao, Olara Otunu, Medad Segona and Jacinto Ogwal. Mbabazi will now take his campaign to Mpiji in Central Region and halt it briefly during the Pope's visit between Friday and Sunday. Raymond Mujuni for NTV.